this year's New York Jewish Film Festival is proud to include uh, one of my favorite movie selections this year. I, it stayed with me for many weeks after seeing it, and I'm so proud to present uh, Cinema Sabaya and its director, Orit Fokus Botem. And, uh, and um, hi, thank you so much for this really wonderful work. And um, just uh, something that beyond, beyond the work itself, it sort of uh, speaks to so many things. It's more, it feels like more than a film. It's a bit of a conversation, a therapy session, a <laughs> uh, just uh, all these things, a, a friendship broker. So many things wrapped up in one. I wonder if you could just tell uh, our audience what the film is about, and then um, we can go from there. Okay. So thank you uh, for your your words. <laughs> and uh, the film is actually it's about a group of um, municipality workers, Jewish and Arab uh, women. All all of them are women that uh, work in the in all kinds of jobs in the municipality. And they, they get like a reward grant uh, course uh, in filmmaking, in, in learning how to film uh, with a video camera. And uh, the whole film is uh, um, in one place, uh, the, the meeting place. And uh, their outside world um, is screened uh, in every session, in every meeting. Um, they get uh, assignments to shoot their life, uh, to shoot their place, to uh, record uh, sounds from their lives. And what they bring inside the group, uh, inside the sessions, uh, um, creates a, a friendship and uh, discussions and, uh, uh, and the dynamics uh, between them is actually what is the film about, um, also about. It's uh, about a lot of things, but the dynamic is, is the, main, uh, the main issue, I think. Yes, 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 the dynamics between them. And um, I'm so curious, uh, where, how long did um, a film like this take? I mean, maybe I can ask you first, I should ask you first about its origin and, um, it feels like it feels like a lot of time and or love was spent making it. Uh, that that's a reason why it feels so authentic and real. So maybe, um, yeah, if you could talk about its origin and how long you spent crafting the story and maybe perhaps working with the actors, uh, you know, um, prior to shooting. Yeah, so the the idea came to my mind like uh, seven years ago. Uh, what my mother is uh, is working in the municipality of Khadera in a city. Uh, it's based on uh, my mother's experience as a participant in one of those groups. Oh. And uh, yeah, so I like the idea of the platform of uh, women that get together and uh, learn. Um, some kind of art. She learned stills photography, but uh, I wanted it to be a video. And uh, I like the idea of, of um, putting like eight women in one room and, uh, and through their uh, learn, through the, the way they learn how to, to use video cameras, we learn about them and see their lives. Uh, so I started writing it like seven years ago, and then um, until yeah. we raised the money, and until uh, yeah, until I understood what I want to do, um, uh, it was a long time. And uh, I met a lot of women on the way, and I, I did these courses myself as a research. So I met a lot of women, Arab and Jewish. And uh, some of the characters are based on the women I met, but in very different uh, ages and different backgrounds. Uh, the themes were uh, for my research. And um, 
the casting process was like uh, half a year, even more, of meeting more women. Not of, all of them were actress, uh, actresses, like professional actresses. And um, the, the film itself, shooting it was 12 days, only 12 days. Uh, wow. Yeah, it was. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's yeah, a lot. Shot it, we, we shot it like a, like a course, uh, chronologically, in chronological order. And um, I didn't do many rehearsals uh, because I wanted them to, to know each other for real in the group while I shoot. So um, they, all had, they all had scripts and they knew what uh, the scene is about but they didn't watch the video uh, footage be uh, before. So they really reacted to what they saw. And oh, they also didn't right. know, they didn't know if the story that the women tells based on their lives or not, they didn't know a lot about each other before. So, oh, uh, yes. so that's, that's how we got this authentic authenticity um, uh, because they really reacted and we shot it by with two cameras. Um, okay. yeah. yeah. So it was very so, long take. Right. So and, you're getting react speak, speaking and reaction at the same time. That's exactly. it's it's one thing I was I was wondering. Um, I feel like every single time, you know, at, when I watched it originally, I watched it again, you know, just about twice. And I noticed that all, whenever you were framing and people, you know, some of the women in the group were in the background to somebody in the foreground who was speaking, there was always something interesting going on. Uh, nobody, you know, tuned out or if they looked away, it was for a reason. And um, perhaps a, a bit of that, it has to do with what you're saying is that they were being surprised. They were not only in character, but they were being surprised as they each were telling their stories. Yeah. So, and yeah. Yeah, so I, I'm wondering, did you have to pay attention a lot to what was going on in the background of the frames? And maybe you can, um, if you could speak a little bit about working with an ensemble rather than just, you know, one, actor in the frame, how is that? Yeah, it was a challenge. <laughs> and uh, half of them are like professional actresses and half are not uh, less than half, but never acted in their lives. So the main thing I wanted them to do is just to be in this course and uh, be close to themselves as they can and to their characters. Uh, I tried to base, after I casted them, a lot of things changed in the script. Uh, Suad uh, was supposed to be much older, uh, but when I met uh, Joanna, the actress, I wanted, I just felt she's Suad, so I changed the details about her life, and a lot of them are very different in their biographic, but they're very close to the characters in their personalities. So I just wanted them to be themselves and, and experience this course like they experienced it for the first time. Uh, so they didn't have to do um, more, more than one, two takes of the same things because I didn't want them to do it more, more than, yeah. So they, they, they knew that the, the takes were really, really long, like half an hour sometimes. Oh, wow. uh, we didn't stop. Yeah, and, and I gave them a lot of space for improvising. They didn't have to say the exact word in the script, but in, the intention was there. So they could, they had freedom to say whatever they want. Uh, so I think that was the main um, key to, to get this authenticity because otherwise they were if they had to say just what I wrote, they couldn't uh, be so free and natural, I think. And uh, about the background action, there's not so much, but when I didn't say, uh, for instance, action and cut almost, we started mm. talking and then we start shooting. So 
Sometimes they even didn't notice in the back that we were shooting and then they noticed and just kept doing what they're doing. So everybody in the, in the room knew that we were shooting in that way. Um, so yeah, so it gave them a lot of freedom, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they did, they did so well with it and they were so, um, I don't know, they engaged with each other in such a great way, which um, brings me to the diversity of the cast itself. I mean, I guess, you know, here it is, it's not fully global where it's like, you know, uh, uh, you know, multiple, multiple, multiple races and ethnicities and all this stuff. And yet um, this room, these eight women and nine with Ro Rona, um, mm -hmm. there's such a great uh, diversity and at least uh, I felt that way with the um, Jewish Arab women in there and their occupations and sort of their, uh, you know, how religion framed their own individual worlds and all that stuff. How important was it to make sure to have different, different complexities you know, I know you're not trying to look for an archetype and a, or yeah. you're trying to look for real individual people, but how important was that? Because it definitely came across that, you know, there's a wide array here. Yeah, it was very important for me because I wanted it to be about many subjects, but also from different perspective. Um, so uh, I wanted the old woman to be there. It, she was, she, she was Arab, but also I had virgin that she, it was Jewish. I mean, I just wanted many ages and many backgrounds. So it won't be like all the Arabs are like this and all the Jewish are like that. So it will be like in real life. Uh, that's why I chose uh, municipality workers because it can be the cleaning women, women that work in the municipality. Uh -huh. It can be the social worker. It's not in the movie, but... It, 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 it gave me a, um, a variety of uh, angles of women. So uh, yeah, it was very important for me. I tried to mix it and even I could, I thought even more, but uh, in the end, I mean, in the end, uh, I think I found the, the right um, amount of what I wanted, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. yeah. And um, in terms of like, so you're, having to like walk these really delicate lines um, between these Arab Jewish like uh, frictions, long, you know, current and long standing, and yet um, have everybody have respect for each other and, you know, and, and an understanding somehow at least hearing the other person. Um, did you, I don't know, I, I just, curious if you felt like you ever you ever had to shy away from a particular topic when it came to you know Arab Jewish relations or did you really dive in uh, alongside with the characters as you were workshopping how did you navigate that because I imagine that that was a little bit um, sensitive and that you had to be very aware while you were you know, eliciting storylines and conflicts. Yeah, a lot of the things that uh, that are in the movie happens in real life also. I mean, a lot of things that we the Jewish women didn't know about Arab women and about the hijab, it came from re real life because uh, uh, they really didn't know that, uh, some of them didn't know that uh, the women that wear hijab are Muslims. And, and it's not that if you're not wearing hijab, you're a Christian, but if you are not religious, uh, so you can be Muslim and not have hijab. So right. it's, uh, <laughs> it's like uh, things that, were, that happens in, in the real life, and, uh, uh, but in the political uh, subjects, I didn't want it to be only about that. It was important for me. It wouldn't be only about uh, the political issues, and also for the women, they felt obligated to represent their side. Uh, so, 
when we shot the, the thing with the political uh, issue, when, she, when they talk about the hijab and then about uh, bomb, uh, uh, suicide bombing. And so it was like the set stopped for an hour. So, and they really talked about it. And they really had an argument that uh, they, I mean, Amal Murkus that plays Nasrin, she's a very famous actor in Israel, a uh, fa famous singer in, in oh. Israel. And she was, I, I'm not, I don't want it to be uh, about uh, uh, suicide bombing without talking about the Nakba, about, uh, uh, about uh, what the Israeli Jewish people did to us before. So we had like a, a lot of talking about it in the shooting itself. Uh, they didn't feel like they're only saying uh, text. They felt like they wanted to show the world their perspective and and to be part of something they feel represent what they think. So it was uh, difficult uh, to talk about politics without uh, giving it like uh, three days of shooting. Um, but in the end it worked because um, I think um, they, they felt they, they trust me, I think, and, mm -hmm. and they knew that I wouldn't do something to hurt them. So in the end, they, each one felt she had her side of the story. Yes. Right, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in that way, I'm sure there, you might have had some identification with um, your character, Rona. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, who gives, who gives up um, so much though, who is lovely about sort of staying in the background and letting them do their thing. Um, in doing a film about um, women making films within a film, um, how how so? How did you uh, relate to that character in particular? Or was there like you know one particular thing that you related to that she was trying to do in this fiction universe with her group that you were trying to do with um, directing that group? Yeah, it's based on uh, Rona's character is based on me in a way, but she's very different also. Um, in the beginning, in the script, she was like the main character and uh, she had a life outside of it, this place. But oh. um, yeah, she had a story of her own, but I felt it's not right for this film. After casting these women and I, I felt like it's, it's, she should be like a guideline between them yes. and also have her own, um, uh, she had a will, she wanted to make a film and she wanted to share their stories and that's also what I wanted to do. And when I did these groups as a research, I thought of making film, a documentary film of one of them, uh, those groups, but they couldn't uh, because many women were religious and said many, it was very person, a very uh, personal subjects. Uh, and then I started thinking about this, film as, uh, in that way, that it's about someone that wants to make some, uh, uh, Rona actually, that wants to make a film about her group, but she can't. And uh, that's the way um, I could show the stories I wanted to show in a fiction way, not in a documentary way. So, uh, so she got her place, but she wasn't the main, uh, she didn't take over all of it because I thought that the women should have a lot of a lot of space and if she was the right that's right yeah if she was the main character I would lose it so yeah yeah I think she was yeah, yeah she was the per she was like the perfect amount just there there in the background but present but still you know and caring for them in a through line but just yeah I thought thought that was great. I, I remember I was writing some things about um, how, you know, one way that this film is so, I guess, uh, women-centric or uh, gender attentive, uh, you could say, um, is how uh, women are often so in this position of 
always having to accommodate, you know, accommodate people and peace and accommodate um, so many different things and situations and try to smooth over things. And I, I feel like towards, as the film sort of progresses, they each, they almost stop doing that and start realizing uh, their own agency and what, what they need for themselves. And I'm just wondering if um, that was an intentional, uh, natural part of, you know, what happens for, for them to come into their own, they need to sort of, I don't even, I don't know if saying it right, but like give up some of their accommodating thing of being a woman and having to, you know. Put themselves in the center. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I think it happens. It happened to them also in real life. Uh, yeah, I, when I wrote it, I, I tried to divide it for this uh, session is about her and this session is about her and this session. So uh, they, they, they all had like sessions that they didn't almost speak, but they were there. And uh, I think uh, it happened just naturally that if they uh, got their, um, the right space for them, the right, uh, for instance, the uh, Gila that uh, talks about the husband that used to hit her. She, yes. in, she was she in the, the beginning. One. What? She's the one I was thinking of the most actually with that, yes. Yeah, so in the end, she, she takes a place, a very important place in the end, uh, when they talk with Rona about her plan to make a film. And it wasn't planned in the script. She wouldn't. She wasn't uh, one of the. But but she was. She felt it very. She felt like she has to to be strong there because it happened to her that she talked about her story in one of the sessions. So it just happened naturally that they felt uh, that they have place and they have room and they are in the center of things. So in the beginning, in the group, in the beginning, each one was. Uh, it they had some um, difficulties with how much they're gonna speak uh, uh, comparing to others, and it was interesting to see. Uh, in the end, each one had a, a very important place. I was afraid that some of them would be more on the side, but but it didn't happen. I think I think that every one of them is has effect, and uh, I see when the audience see it that uh, some. It, everybody relates to someone more. So it's yes. not, yeah, so it's a film about uh, nine uh, main characters. <laughs> right, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, I was, I, I, I was curious about um, audiences and, you know, I'm not sure exactly where or how many places you've shown it, but um, maybe if you could share with us um, uh, some of the audience reactions that were surprising, perhaps in a good way or an uncomfortable way or just anything, um, just uh, how they've been engaging with this uh, piece. That... Uh, so the reactions are really interesting. I showed the film, it didn't release in Israel yet, but it was oh. in some festivals in Jerusalem and in uh, I just been to Los Angeles in the AFI and uh, New York and other Israel and uh, Warsaw and Tallinn. So people uh, react um, in different ways. I, I even got some angry uh, response from uh, audience that thought it's real documentary. Uh, and they were very, they felt like, uh, yeah, like they were, they've been fooled when they see the names of the actresses, even though it was in Israel and uh, Dana Ivgi the, that plays the role of Verona is a very famous actor, but they explain to yourself, why is it possible that it's true? So this was a very surprising uh, response for me. And uh, a lot of people, uh, uh, I mean, um, Suad's story is not, uh, nobody tells it in the, in the film, what exactly happened to her. 
but a lot of people just feel it. So it's uh, also interesting to see. And um, yeah, and I think uh, um, they get, the women get a lot of love in the, the screening. Uh, they come to the screening a lot. Uh, and it's very surprising uh, for people to see that uh, Suad is actually Joanna and she's very young and with curly hair and uh, she has right. no kid. And also Marlene that uh, plays the role of uh, Awatef. She's actually, she has no kids and she's single. So, uh, <laughs> so it's all. yeah, it's very uh, interesting to see how people react to that. Um, speaking of which, um, one thing in listening to you, I was remembering like all the fun, it's, it's even, it's like a higher level than humor. It's just like, there's fun and, um, um, bubbly moments in the film itself, little magical moments. Um, how important was it to weave those into this story so that the tone, you know, did the tone satisfy what you were going for? And how important was it to add that sort of like fun, bubbly, magical element into uh, this thing that could have been so um, serious, you know? Um, yeah. Um, when I wrote it, I wanted it to be funny, but uh, not, I mean, I'm very surprised from the reactions. People really laugh in the film. The audience really laugh. And uh, for me, it was a surprise at the beginning because I thought it's like uh, sometimes funny, but not like hilarious. But people really, really... <laughs> We <laughs> really, uh, uh, yeah. So uh, it was it's, it was important for me because when I when I say the premise like eight municipality women uh, worker in one place, it sounds depressing, and uh, it doesn't really it doesn't really like, like something you want to watch. And uh, it, it, it's I, I really wanted it to be different from how it sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I think it combines, you know, all of these great elements together where, you know, yeah, you're getting, again, like these heavy duty sessions, but you're also getting singing and just, you know, so, so many different things. Um, do you, do you feel like uh, the film inspired any of those women, the, the actors themselves to pursue or get more involved in film? Do you find that, or was there anybody or, you know, um, in your universe that got more inspired by just watching this group of people who weren't supposed to be filmmakers suddenly making art? Yeah, I think the character of Stuad, uh, Joanna, uh, she really fell in love with uh, the cinema world and she's now working as a uh, editor and she wants to act more. It was the first film. Uh, she, she really got into it. And what if she didn't act it for years? She was very famous uh, in the 90s, 80s. Uh, in the mostly in the Arab uh, society, and I think it really revived her. Like uh, she, she, the beginning she didn't want to do it, and I convinced her, and she said it was very good that I convinced her because she had a, an amazing time, and she's really proud of the film. And uh, yeah, Amal Mukus, uh, she's mainly an act, a, a singer, and to act. She didn't act for years also. So I think it's, uh, they got into this world again, uh, some of them, and it really gave them like, uh, uh, they want more now, so yeah. So I think uh, it was good. In that way, the dreams were very reflexive. They're, they're talking about their dreams because they really uh, connected more to their dreams after this film experience. Awesome. awesome. Well, I guess I have uh, one, one last uh, question for you. Um, if you can share 
with our audience maybe the one surprising thing that making this film uh, brought to your life, something that you didn't expect uh, that happened along the way, uh, similar to similar to how we, uh, your characters, this great ensemble, uh, the, the unexpected happens in their lives. Um, maybe you could just mention one thing that happened in your life that stood out uh, from making the film. Mm. I think I think that film talks a lot about also the the desire to be seen, uh, also for filmmakers. Uh, why why do we make films? We want uh, to be seen in, also in a way. So I think that's thing. I don't know if it's surprising, but I I realize it about myself that uh, part of the. The reason I'm making films is also uh, for the reason I want to be seen and to be heard, uh, but not just heard. Um, uh, yeah, to to have a place to share my uh, thoughts with people, and and I meet a lot of people now when I travel, and uh, and for me, and I didn't think I would like it so much. So maybe that's. Uh, a surprising thing for me because I I prefer usually to be behind the camera. So uh, yeah, for me to find out that I needed I wanted a place also to express myself in front it of the camera. Maybe that I need to think about it. But that's what came to my mind. That's so perfect. <laughs> that that is a great great note to um, wrap up on and just a. Thoroughly, so again, honest and authentic. It's so much like this film that you made. So I just uh, wish you all the best and um, congratulations on it. And I hope many, many people from um, fans of this festival will be going to uh, see this film. So thank you so much, Orit. And you. Um, yeah, everybody, Cinema Sabaya, yay. <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed the film. <laughs>